In this video, I'll be showing a simple example of how to use the Smart Mount feature in ADS to build a structure uh, that uh, it's using different uh, technologies um, or that uh, defined in different libraries. As you see here, there's three levels of technologies, level one, two, and three, each define its own library. And then we'll be assembling those three levels of technology into a, a cell here, could be called assembly one, uh, that is part of a different library, which is a smart mount assembly library. So this is essentially where we're gonna put the, stru the structure that we'll be assembling. Now, how are these different libraries built? So let's take this one, for example. Um, I have created a structure with uh, four different layers. So the substrate is built this way, as you see here, PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4 layers. Um, and uh, using these different layers, I have created a structure that looks like this, uh, that looks like a, a pyramid. Uh, there's four layers, as you see. So this, I, sh I chose this uh, structure so that it's easy to see the sequence of the different layers and uh, more important, how they are gonna be arranged in the Z, in the vertical axis, and how we can control uh, how different, uh, different structures like this can be uh, instantiated uh, in, uh, you know, in the same space and uh, how we can control <clears throat> the, the way they're stacked uh, on top of one another. So to create one of these libraries, uh, and I'll, I'll do one here, I'll create a new one uh, just to, to walk you through the different steps. Uh, so create a new library. We call it uh, level four library. Create library, we'll pick uh, a technology uh, with a 0001 millimeter layout resolution. Okay, we hit finish. Then uh, this is the new library has created, it's empty. Uh, so the next step is to, um, uh, I'll be copying one of this uh, substrate. So again, I open level one here and I, I just to show it and then I'll copy it in a copy file and I put it in level four library and I call it level four substrate. So here's the level four substrate. Uh, the next step is let's go into technology and edit master substrate. So uh, I need to create a master substrate because that's what uh, I need to define this as a master substrate for this library. There could be multiple ones, but only one can be the master. And I will select this one here, uh, which is already coming up as level four substrate in level four lib. And at this point, I'm going to be saving it. As of fact, uh, it has instead it has created a tech substrate here. Uh, but let's do this again. So I'll uh, technology edit master substrate, and now I'll force it this way, and it should take it. As you see here, now level four is uh, there's this uh, red check mark here that uh, means that it's become it now understands that it's the master substrate so i can delete the text substrate here which is not needed uh, and uh, the next step here is i'll be um, then i'll need to do something else which is uh, define the uh, nested technology so in this case i'm gonna be well this is a uh, one of the tabs in the technology setup and I have different smart mount subtypes that I can select from. Uh, and I, uh, there's, there's these two features here that are more advanced, but the basic ones are the bottom mount, which is basically you build from the bottom towards the top uh, or flip chip, which is basically flipped around. So you have the, you know, the, the top, uh, the, you know, towards the bottom here. Uh, so let's go with the straight, with the most standard one what that will, you know, later on, I'll show you what happens when we select flip chip. But if I hit bottom mount, then uh, this is basically creating this, uh, I'm gonna be uh, using this, you know, a pyramid uh, type shape here. Uh, and now there's this box here that needs to be checked. Now again, uh, you know, if you wanna know why, then uh, uh, I advise you to look into the documentation. Well, let's say that, you know, for this simple type usage, uh, check this box here and uh, will be, everything will be fine. 
So let's go hit OK. Uh, now the last thing is I'm going to copy this cell here into level 4. So copy cell. And then uh, we copy it into level, you see the target library is level 4. So it goes from level 1 to level 4 library. And then we call it this level 4 cell. So this cell, now you see it created from scratch, one of these libraries, they're all basically the same. Uh, there's one point that is important uh, to notice here, uh, one extra step, if you will, to set up this library for, um, for a smart mount. Now, by default, uh, this uh, bar, top interface is set up as a top interface by default. Uh, this bottom interface is set up as bottom interface by default. Uh, you can, if you decide that you don't want to uh, have this uh, space here, this uh, 10 mil uh, dielectric, then you can basically select the top interface here instead of here, uh, which means that it eliminates the space. Um, and uh, otherwise, uh, you know, if you want to keep it, then you, you know, you just uh, uh, keep this as a, as a top interface. Okay. So this is one control that allows you to define where your substrate be begins and ends in the vertical uh, space here. So let's now go into start assembling here. Thanks. So uh, what I've done here, I have, uh, I have an, uh, an assembly lib, which is actually not set up for, uh, for the um, for, uh, smart mount. So if I go into the nested technology, you see here uh, smart mount subtype is none uh, because this is, uh, this is basically the, uh, the, the library where I'll be assembling other technologies. Now I've set up a cell here uh, that uh, has uh, basically, uh, you'll see uh, uh, what, what, it, what it contains. Uh, so it has, uh, you know, the same four layers. So I use the same uh, substrate for all the four uh, or all the now five libraries here. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the ADS is not, uh, doesn't have any problem. I mean, as long as, you know, the, the, you, don't, you don't need to use different layer names. You can use exactly the same layer names for, the, for different libraries. Now, this is the library that sort of like is going to be, um, this is the structure is going to be a reference. So every, everything else are going to be instantiating in here is going to attach to one of these layers. So it's going to be instantiated uh, on the Z space, on the Z axis, um, relative to one of these layers here and I'll show you what what happens there so let's go and and um, let's start in, uh, let's start uh, placing the first instance let's go back to 2d mode here so uh, by the way you do this uh, if you if you're not familiar with this feature using the the uh, number two and number three keys on the keyboard uh, so what I'll do is I, I'll instantiate level one cell here and I'll instantiate right in the middle here and then Let's start. Uh, let's see what happens. So this is by by default. Uh, we'll hit the the three button and let's see where this uh, cell has been instantiated. Well, guess what? It's going to be instantiated in the bottom. On um, the bottom. Well, why is that? Uh, let's see. Now, uh, if I I select X one, I right click here. And I go into mount layer. Well, uh, the mount layer is uh, PC4, which is the one on the bottom. So now, if it's the one at the bottom, it will flip it. Okay, it will flip the the, the pyramid. Uh, now, if I set it to PC1, which is the one on top, well, guess what's going to happen? Now, the pyramid is, comes on the top side, which is which is good. Uh, so you, you kind of get a feeling how I control this. So I can, you know, this is my layer one, this is my layer four. If I use this as the as this as the mount layer, the structure will go upwards. If it's if I use the you know, the uh, PC four as the as the as the mounting layer, then the structure will go uh, will um, will go towards the bottom here. So now let's instantiate a second cell from library two. So we go here and get layout here. Uh, let's actually switch to 2D so I can, uh, let me escape, um, hit, okay, let's go here, I'm oh, sorry, and let's hit, go to 2D so I can center it easily, and now I have second instance here. So let's see what happens now, if I hit 3, then I'll see also, this instance is uh, mounted at the bottom. Uh, now, if I go and right-click and check the mount layer, this also comes out as PC4. 
So if I, I can set it to PC1, um, or I can leave it as is, uh, but let's, uh, well, let's say, let's set a PC1. So the two uh, pyramids uh, uh, structures are um, uh, or laid on top of one another. Now let's use this uh, smart mount mount uh, instance editor here to uh, put uh, to mount one. Uh, basically, what I want to do is to mount x1 on top of uh, sorry x2 on top of x1. So um, the uh, by the way, this uh, view if you don't have it on the screen uh, is activated here. So if you go under view. Uh, and then uh, it's under docking windows and then you have the smart mount stacking window that you can activate here. So let's go ahead and stack these two uh, structures here. So um, I have, uh, so I want to I want to stack X2 uh, on top of X1. Uh, so this, as you see here, the, um, the, the there's pop-up information here on each cell. You see this uh, mounting. So you have the you know bottom mount type, bottom mount. Uh, we have automatic layer mapping alignment type automatic so i'm using just the basic functions here and then you have mounting flipped no uh, and then uh, the stack information is not stacked uh, and it's mount, mounted later pc1 of the uh, assembly um, of the smart mount assembly lib uh, structure here okay and both uh, both instances are pretty much uh, you know they come from different libraries but they're identical and they have the same uh, mounting information here so let's select X2 here, uh, and then uh, let's uh, basically, it says instance X2, uh, and then here, and then stacked on, not stacked. So now here I have the choice of which instance to stack it on to. So let's stack it on X1 here. If I hit apply, uh, then, uh, or, uh, then it's gonna start stacking here. And then as you see here, there's two, uh, now we can see there are two structures here. And instance X2 is stacked on X1, on X1. but I haven't defined uh, which layer it's, it's um, uh, gonna be stacked on. So let's say I wanna put it on, on, the, uh, on top of the, uh, I wanna put X2 on top of X1. I have to select as mount layer, the PC1 layer, which is the top one of uh, instance X1. Let's do that, hit apply, and there you go. Uh, what you see here is instance X2 stacked on top of instance X1. And that's, uh, that's uh, we, we've done this. Now, next step is, uh, now we can do this in uh, you know, different ways. Now we can also have fun here a little bit and uh, just uh, select a different layer. So I can select uh, PC2 as the amount layer here and then hit apply and then you'll see that uh, you know the, the essentially the layer uh, the, the the bottom layer of the um, of the top structure it basically is uh, yeah it uh, includes now the top layer of this other instance and you can actually see it here uh, when uh, you know by selecting the bottom structure uh, is now touching or actually the uh, the top layer is uh, inside uh, the you know the bottom layer of the top structure here. So you, this is basically these are the basic controls. Now uh, just uh, we can also do this uh, just to repeat the exercise. We can get level cell uh, level uh, sorry uh, the cell from level three. Uh, we can uh, stack this one. So now we have as you see here in the uh, navigator we have three instances here uh, for the you know, one from level one, level two, level three. And now uh, we go, uh, what we want to do now is to stack at, um, cell uh, X3 and uh, we go edit uh, stacked. We stack it on top of X2 now. We can hit apply and then as you see here, instance X3 is stacked on top of X2. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's see where, where it is. So it is on the same, uh, is on the same level there as, uh, is the um, is x2 and now we go to edit mounting and then we mount it on the top layer of x2 and then if i hit apply then i have the three structures on top of one another so that's the uh yeah that's how the basic uh, mechanism of stacking uh, using smart mount works uh, with this uh, simple example structure
Okay, so now let's, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, take the uh, X3 cell and let's try and uh, mount it as a flip chip or a flip, uh, flip configuration. So uh, what we do now, so let's do this. So go to Navigator, we delete X3, X3. So we'll just go with, uh, so we have X1, X2 left. Now let's modify the level three library into flip chip and now let's switch to the subtype here let's hit ok now let's reinstantiate the cell x3 here Instantiate it twice, so let's delete the second uh, the second instance here. So we have x1, x2, x3. Let's select it. Let's place it into uh, the smart the smart uh, mount layer PC one. And now uh, let's take a look at let's take a look at it. So let's see what's happening here. So we have x3 here, uh, which is uh, flip flip but not in the right place as you see there so what we want to do now uh, <clears throat> is mounting <clears throat> and then so we select x3 here and we're going to stack it on x2 so we're going to hit apply and now the next step is to choose the layer so let's choose pc1 which is the top layer apply here and now as you see here so we have x1 here x2 here and x3 here which is uh, flipped upside down.